In what film do Luke Wilson and Maya Rudolph awaken after 500 years from a hibernation experiment? Year one? Sam. It is happening today. Idiocracy! And your winner of the 2017 Free For All, the inglorious one, Sam Lundy! And then the other thing I'm feeling is, um, I don't know, maybe sort of a bloodlust to wipe the smug fucking smirk off of John Roca, who might not even be the champion still by the time I get my hands on. Mark Beauty Riley! There's the crowd! And he did it! Break it. The outlaw John Roca! Here comes the outlaw. Look at the boost. Heavier oh, than they've ever been. Some. Heavier than they've ever been. The crews have really been following him. He's got some, he's got some applause there, too. Uh, I want to I wanna wipe that smirk off his, uh, his fucking arrogant face. So regardless of who wins Riley versus Roca, you want to take on John Roca specifically. Well, I want to take on the champ. I hope it's Riley because he's a good person. To Michelle Monaghan. And your winner! And you can and you You live in Los Angeles. Who do you think you are, the fucking dude? Get out of here. And your winner, Dangerous Dan Murrow! When I won, I was allowed to challenge the new oh, champion. Yeah. Whenever you want. Yeah, whenever you want. Wanted. Yes, that's yes. true. I want to do it right now because oh, you know wow. what? You He's know what? Swords in. don't get tired, but fighters do. You're gonna face either Jason Inman or John Roca. Wow. Um, I mean, that's really. a tough Sophie's one. Sophie's choice. That is, a, that is a tough one. I mean, Jason Inman is a fierce competitor. I have watched his matches. That guy knows his stuff, and he's a he's a decent person. John Roca, on the other hand, <laughs> is a is a monster in human skin form, and uh, and I would gladly take him on to take him down. And you're yep. winner. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Sam Levine, you and I have had a date with Destiny for quite some time now. Ever since you shot your mouth off to Emma Fife and you said, fuck John Roca. Yeah, I remember. I still have it as a video on my phone. I wake up to it. I play it to myself every morning. Look, it's what Sam Levine wakes me up every morning with this. Competitor level, I kind of hope it's Roca because fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, John Roca. That's right, it, that's my alarm. Every time I wake up, it gets me out of bed, it gets me into the gym, it gets me studying movie trivia. You know why Sam Levine? Because I gotta beat your diminutive butt once and for all. That beard, no one's buying it. A child your age can't grow a beard that high, that big. I know it's all fake, you put it on with spirit gum. You're lying to everybody, that's goat hair. It's not even real hair, Sam Levine. You're taking it from the bottom of the top of your head and putting it on your face, it's disgusting. Go bald already. <laughs> Fuck you, John Roca. Welcome back to the movie Trivia Schmodown. It is round number two, and we have a huge matchup here in the second round of the Ultimate Schmodown. It is Ken Napsok joining me today. I thought you said I was competing. I no, was no, like no, jumping no, in. No, oh, no, 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 this is a big one today. You've got 
Sam Levine, the inglorious bastard himself, the finalist of the upcoming team finals of the team tournament. Sam Levine, part of Above the Line, who competed with Drew McQueenie. You know this very well. Don't and I ever. They were dominant in the first round, and Sam is going to the finals and will be in the finals during that week. And now, not only did he carry the momentum with him, I mean, he beat William Bibiani, the beast, who's one of the best in the game as far as knowledge goes, and Sam took him out and beat him. And now he gets to go up against the former team champion, the former singles champion, John the Outlaw Roca. And even though Roca's kind of turned a new leaf, these two do not like one another. They don't like each other. And, I, you know, I, I like Sam. He's a good guy. Yeah. But I, I can see where he gets under your skin a little bit. You know, he's, he's always got a comment. In it, but Roka's always got a response. He's always got some passion coursing through those veins. And maybe that's why these two don't mix. Uh, I'd have drinks with both of them. But I guess, uh, you know, they don't get along. Well, that's the thing is that so Sam has always kind of carried a bit of a grudge with Roka because no matter what, back in the day, anytime people were playing the game, Roka would scream out answers. Doesn't matter if Sam was playing or anybody was <laughs> playing, Roka would scream it out and yell at people if they didn't know the answer, and right. that really irked Sam. And it all came to a head at the free-for-all. After Sam won the free-for-all, he just called Roka out, and he yep. blatantly said, he said, because fuck you, John Roka. That's what he said, and John Roka has taken that with him. John Roka yeah. has not let that go. This is something. This is building. This is a round two explosion. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, you know, I think this match, I think in a lot of ways these guys are evenly matched. It might just come down to Roka's mindset. He's been through a lot this year in competition, ups, downs, uh, some some anger, some big moments, the team action yep. stuff. Let's see if he can focus here today. This is the last match in the second round, and it, it has already been an incredible tournament. The last match in the second round, who is going to the semifinals? Will it be Sam Levine going to the semifinals twice in one year, or will John Roca get himself to the semifinals in the singles? Remember, John Roca is the, it was the finalist of last year's tournament, losing to Mark Baby Carrots Ellis barely in last year's tournament. So Roka has something for Roka wants to get back to that belt. Roka wants to play me. So this is something. Absolutely. All right. So, guys, we are going to hear from both our competitors, and it's not going to be uh, nice words here. Here we go. Sammy boy, Sammy boy. Well, well, the time has come finally. The bearded one versus the great one. Well, me and you, toe to toe. You remember at the free for all when you said, Fuck you, John Roca. I do. It's my ringtone when I wake up in the morning. It's my alarm when I wake up in the morning. It's everything to me. I play it all the time. Just to remind me. I play it in the car sometimes. Just to remind me. Oh my god, have I been waiting for this. I have wanted to go head to head with John Roca for a long time now. He has been asking for it. You said all this stuff, right? You talked all that mess. You had a great run in the teams, right? I mean, uh, I mean, Master Blaster did it for you, didn't he? He carried you all through that team tournament. But you don't have Drew McWeeny with you now, baby doll. It's just you and me. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't remember the epicenter of the feud. I really don't. And I don't even want to call it a feud uh, because uh, it's not like we had a disagreement. I just, I couldn't sit and watch Schmodown match after Schmodown match, Schmodown match with Roka sitting in the back of the room not actually opening his mouth, but then if someone would get one wrong, you go, how could you not know that? And what proved that you did? You fuck, you're not sitting there with the whiteboard answering. I don't see you typing it out for the people watching. It's all talk, you're all talk, 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 and no show, no show. Now I know I've turned a new leaf. You know, I'm not nicer, I'm more open to people. Emma and I are getting along now. But you won't let it go, will you? Keep sticking that stick in my cage. Well, you asked for me, and now you got me, Sam. But we're gonna get it on. I watched that top 10 versus action match. No, sir. Calvin Klein, get the fuck out of here. I want you, I wanna take you down. No more jokes, no more games. Three rounds to see who's the best. And when it's all over, I'm gonna send you back to that independent film you've been shooting, making $125 a day, where you belong, straight to DVD, son. You ain't no feature film actor. Not in my world. I'm gonna show you today. I mean, that's something I didn't know Sam Levine was gonna say, um, but he said it, and uh, and there you go with John Roca, who's firing back and making some shots, and he's got the baseball bat kind of taunting him on Inglorious Bastards, and and calling out his independent films and this and that, and, and of course, I mean, I can't even repeat what Sam Levine said. So it's like there is. 
there is stuff there is stuff that I mean these two man this is a heat feud yeah you know yeah what's the tail of the tape here a tail of the tape uh, with Roka we know his strengths are biopics westerns and of course focusing that anger into determination yep. and with Sam 70s scores and soundtracks this guy's got it and also second guessing most of your decisions that's true all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to go you ready to go I'm ready ladies and gentlemen it's time for the movie trivia Shmoda. three rounds in the second round of the ultimate Schmodown singles division Introducing first, representing above the line with a record of four wins, four defeats. He is the 2017 free for all winner and the 2017 ultimate Schmodown finalist, the inglorious one, Sam Love. Sam coming out. A lot of confidence with Sam these yeah, days. Yeah, quiet confidence, but uh, he's, always, he's always got a lot of spirit. Totally. I mean, um, yes. Yeah, but you're right. Confidence is key. I, I have always felt he knows he belongs here. Now he feels Yeah, absolutely. It was that match with, with Dan Merle, I think, that just spun the confidence to a whole new level. Yeah. And now he is going to be facing his opponent. He is the 2016 Ultimate Showdown finalist. The former movie trivia showdown team champion and the former movie trivia showdown champion of the world, the outlaw John Roca. Oh, who's it? Oh, he's got a, he's got a little uh, back up here. Some booze coming back. Some booze. Cheers oh, and booze. Threatening violence. Hey, Jason, that's Jason Inman. You think that's Inman? And that was Inman, he said. That was Inman, who was promised that he would have a lot, okay. of, a lot of sheep. Okay, I don't, you know, I mean, get a, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. It is absolutely bizarre. No. Sam, you must, you must have said something, huh, Sam? No, no, something I didn't invented. say anything. All right, so all right. it looks like Roka, Roka's starting to go back to a different yeah. Roka. Uh, all right, so what's he doing? He's taking a picture of himself? I don't himself know what he's doing. Yeah, he's taking selfies. He's this is a, the, right. right. I kind of hope it's Roka because fuck you. Fuck you, wow, he John. still got it. He I think still you're supposed to do that in the pre-interview. Oh, wow, okay. Right, well, I never forget. Sammy boy, let's make it happen. Let's oh, do it. Wow. All right, let's do it. It's it's on. Man, these guys are going ready. All, All right. right. All right. Here we go. Woo. Round number one. It's going to work like this. The competitors are going to have eight questions. One point apiece, 15 seconds to answer the question. When it is time for them to answer, they're going to show it to the camera and say it at the same time. All right, remember your JTE rule. Remember your challenge rule. If you uh -huh. need to be explained those, please ask me and I will explain them. If not, Sam Levine, are you ready? I am ready. John Roke, you ready? Let's get it. Gotta send this boy back to preschool. Let's make it happen. Let's get ready to Schmoda! Yeah! There we go. Ow. All right. All right. Here we go. Number one is classics. Classics. Mm. Mm. In what classic John Ford Western does John Wayne spend years looking for his abducted niece? Man. Mm. Yeah, good job on the highlighting the Johns, though. I think you did. Well, they brought on the John Ford yeah. there because of what happened in the yeah. first round with Draco. Yeah. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. John Roca. The Searchers. That is correct. Sam Levine. The Searchers. Yeah, look at that. One, right. one. One, one. All right, here we go. All right, guys, question two. Category is animated. Name the 2012 animated feature film with the following characters. Merida, Fergus, Lord McIntosh, and Eleanor. You're in the tension here, Chris. Yeah, right? it's, it's I can't. I don't even have a joke Five, for. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Guess is coming from both. It looks like Sam Levine. Tangled? Incorrect. Roka. Brave? That's, That's correct. correct for a boy. <laughs> Roka guesses right. Levine missed it. So it's 2-1 now. The former champion has a one-point lead. All right, next question, guys. Dramas. Dramas. Who plays bounty hunter Carson Wells in No Country for Old Men? 
That movie's kind of the theme of my life. You yeah. have, to, you have to, some stuff you need to get up. No, to. just the, the title more than anything. Oh, well, you know? that's not sad. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Roca. Uh, Woody Harrelson. That's correct. Cool. Slovene. Woody Harrelson. That's correct. That's correct. Three twos. John Roca, perfect here after three. Okay, next question. All right, guys. Question four comes in the category of new releases. New releases. Andrew Garfield and what other actor played Jesuit priest looking for Liam Neeson in 2016's Silence? A little bit of deja vu I just had. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm just going to stay silent. I yeah. <laughs> get it. It's a oh, reference to the uh, title no of the movie. No more jokes for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Sam Levine. Adam Driver? That's, That's correct. correct. Roka. Adam Driver. There That's you go. Correct. All right. Back and forth we go. Four and three. One point lead for John Roca. Next question. Action adventure. Action adventure. Who plays the newly trained Zorro in the mask of Zorro? Mm. Mm -hmm. You do that skexy thing, you know, the Dark Crystal. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people on the internet agree with me. Dark Crystal's scary. It is. Five. Did I say it wasn't? Four. Three. Two, one, pens down, Roca. Antonio Banderas. That is correct. Antonio Banderas. That is correct. 5 4. Wow. Five, four. Good battle. All right, next one. All right, guys, question six comes in the category of comedies. Comedies. According to the film Billy Madison, what is the last name of the family? And I'm quoting here Rules. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yes. Yes. Wow, they're both stumped in this. I'm shocked. Mm. Some shocked. people in the crowd. Live. Four. A lot of sheep think they got it. Three, two, one. Wow. Pens down, pens down. Both of you guys, pens down. All right, and Roca. Uh, I got this. Johnson. Sam. Nope. Wow. Oh, Doyle. Oh, Doyle, Doyle rules. Oh, Doyle rules. Yeah, I'm right. sorry I don't watch that crappy film over and over again. Sorry, guys. Oh. I'm more of a Happy Gilmore fan. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. All right. Go to your punch happy drunk place. Love. I'm a Go to your happy place. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next question. Category of fantasy slash sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. In Return of the Jedi, mm -hmm. what is the giant beast that Luke must fend off beneath Jabba's palace? I mean, yeah, Roke is getting, looks like Roke Roke is is scribbling it. away. Sam's acting, Five, Sam's four, acting like he's never seen a Star Wars. Three, War. two, one, pens down. Sam, nothing? No, I got nothing. John. Rancor? That's, That's correct. Right. Wait, wait, how'd you spell that? Let me see that. How'd you spell it? How did you spell that? Can you spell it again? R A N. G K O R. Rancor, is that what you said? Rancor, yeah. Said okay, it. that would give it to you. Rancor, okay. Yeah. Next question. All right, guys, final question. Eighth question. Category is directors. Directors. These are the people that make the movies. Name one of the three films that Denzel Washington has collaborated on with director Edward Zwick. That's a great question. That's a, I, you know it is. Oh, it Jesus. really is. It I, is. I really don't know. Yep. Yep. Five. Broke is lying again. Four. Shit. Three. No, I don't think I'm right. Two. Repeat the question. All right, using one of his JTE rules. Name one of the three films, one of the three films that Denzel Washington has collabor collaborated on with director Edward Zwick. Almost got it. I, I said Zwick, but not collaborate. Yeah, it's all right. We collaborate together. Yeah, 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 we could. Five, four, this isn't right. three, this is wrong. two, one, pens down, and Sam Levine. This is wrong. Flight. Incorrect. Incorrect. Roca. I know. Deja vu? Yeah, incorrect. Incorrect. We could have taken. That's Tony glory. Scott, sir. That's Tony Scott. Oh, glory, oh, courage glory. under fire, or the siege? Oh, oh the course. siege. Yes, All there right. you go. All right. Well, I'm sorry. What was the second one? Glory, under, courage under fire. Yeah, glory, siege. courage, courage, courage under, under fire, fire. Oh, yeah. and the siege. Okay, so That's two points. That's the only round, one, one question that will bother me. Mm. Yeah, two points. Right. Two points there separates mm. Sam Levine Damn. and John Roca as we go into nice. round number two. And round number two is going to work like this. The wheel will come out. They will spin the wheel. If it lands on any category they do not like the first time, they can spin again unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Then you have to take whatever your opponent gives you. When you get on your category, you will get four questions from that category worth two points apiece. If you go to multiple choice, one point. You can steal from your opponent in this round 15 seconds to answer the question. John, you are in the lead 6-4. Would you like to go first or second? No, I'd like to let the gentleman, Sam Levine, go first. You're going to let Sam go first. All right, All right, here we go. All right, Sam. There we go. Sam's going to go first. Big spin. Good spin. I like the rotation on that yep. one. A lot yep. of momentum, a lot of centrifugal force at play here. Mm. Comedy. Category of comedy. Comedy, Sam. 
I will take it. Gonna He's going to take it. And I'll minister the questions of Sam Levine in All right. comedies. What is the name of the film in where Richard Dreyfus plays Dr. Leo Marvin? It would be What About Bob? That is correct. Two That's points. Correct. Two points. All right. In the 2000s film, Best in Show is about what? Uh, that would be uh, dogs. That's correct. A dog show. We're going to take shows. that. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So two oh. points there. That's fine. Okay, here we go. What British actor played the eccentric Italian tourist Enrico Pellini in 2001's Rat Race? Uh, I'm going to need you to repeat that question. It's number two. Yeah. What British actor played the eccentric Italian tourist Enrico Pellini in 2001's Rat Race? Uh, Rowan Atkinson. Two points. two points. Sam Levine cleaning up here. Yeah. And, all right, here we go. In Jack and Jill... Jill becomes a contestant on what game show? Oh. And we're sorry we called that a comedy. Yeah, we're <laughs> sorry. I'm going to need multiple choice. Is it A, Wheel of Fortune? B, The Price is Right? C, Let's Make a Deal? D, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Wheel Fine. of Fortune? Incorrect. Correct. But one Can I hear the choices again? Yep. A, Wheel of Fortune. B, The Price is Right. C, Let's Make a Deal. D, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Five, four, three, two, ah, one. B. That's correct. The Price is Right is correct. Steal Good by steal. Roca. <laughs> so Sam Levine, Sam Levine has a three-point lead. Even having a pretty good, good round, round there. Comes back, has a three-point lead on John Roca, who needs to have a nice little round here, but three mm -hmm. points, not that bad. All right, John, you're up. Give it a spin. There's the spin. Good spin. <clears throat> Got some rotation on it that I like, huh? Yep. It's going to land on uh Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh. It lands. Sam Levine once again hitting him with oh. the wheels, being John. nice to Sam Levine after all yeah. that year of last year. It kisses him on the mouth. And this is the second time well, what's in a he going to do? What's he going to do? We talked about this off camera. I can't believe we did. We did. Make we, it fair. Make we, it fair. We did discuss this, and oh. we both agreed we would stab the other one in the back with fair. our favorite comic book movies. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> right. I, is, is that is that a, is that a, that's that's final? I that's that's final, and I will say that because that's final. We can't change it. I think John Roca duped Sam Levine. Okay, you think so? Huh? Yeah. All I right. I think he duped him. Four questions, John, in the chosen category of comic book movies. Fate has put this in front of you. Question one. In The Losers, who played Clay, leader of the elite black ops team of U.S. Special Forces called The Losers? Five. Five. Four. Uh, 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 multiple choices. A, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. B, Idris Elba. C, Chris Evans. D, Gerard Butler. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. That's correct. One for point, point for Roca. All right. Next question. Who plays the drug lord simply known as Mama in Dread? Uh, Lena Headley. Lena Headley. What's Lena Headley from correct. Game of Thrones. Lena Headley, yeah. What's your, form, what's, your, what's your final answer? Lena Headley from Game of Thrones. Headley? It's incorrect. That is incorrect. <laughs> Lena Headley is not her name. Huh? Lena Headley. Is that what, for the steal? Oh, it's Lena Headley. Headley is correct. Headley is correct. I forgot steal. <laughs> Headley, Excuse me. Challenge it. My name you is can Sam challenge Levine, it. not Sam Slimmy. You can, you can challenge it. Letters make a difference. You can challenge it. You can challenge it. I, John, I will, do you want to, John, John, want, John, do you want to okay. challenge it? Don't challenge? Yeah, I'll Do you want challenge. to challenge it? All right, John Roca is going to challenge. John Roca is going to challenge that. And here we go. All right, we're coming back. We have had a full panel here discussing this in length. And... We're going to award Sam Levine the steal. John Roca said Headley. Headley. Right. He might have known who the actress was. He said Headley, very similar to what JTE said when he said Kenny, Kelly McGinless in their, their match against Trek, and he did not get the point. So he right. said Headley. Might have known the actress. He said Headley. That is a different. Headley yeah. would have been acceptable. Headley mm. was not. And it's a two-point steal for Sam, correct? Yeah, it is a two-point steal for so Headley and Hetty. Very different names. All okay, right. last last one. Back last to one. the game here. Back to the game. No, no. This oh, sorry. Be... Sorry. This is number three. Number sorry. Three. Here number comes three. number three. Number, number three. three. Who played Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher, in 2008's Punisher Warzone? That is the question. Oh, fuck. You got to take a chance. Ray Stevenson. 
Two points. Two points for John Roca. That was big. Outlaw doing what he needs to do All here. right, final question in this round, John. Who plays Bruce Banner's father, Dr. Dave Banner, in 2003's Hulk? Nick Nolte. That's Two, correct. Points. Two points. We got a tough John tie Roca, tie tie. With if had he not oh. had that Headley thing, <laughs> he would be up here by quite over by four yeah. points. But it's a tie game now, going into the third round. I think I that was a bummer. He knew the actress. I mean, there's no yeah, doubt about no it. Doubt he, he knew it. But we got to be fair here. When it's Headley and Hetty, those are two different names here. So again, and that he just said it, and he's right. Had he said Hetty, even Hetty would have been okay, but Headley. Resignation from Thrones talk for next year. Yeah. We're not getting that name right. <laughs> it's all right. I, I'm not a Thrones guy, but I loved her on uh, Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles. But John, you understand the call? Oh, of course I do. Yeah, okay. I, I'm not protesting at all. Okay, okay, all right. So now round number three works like this. It's a tie game. We're going into round number three, and the contestants will pick three numbers. First one is going to be worth two. Second one, three. Third one is five points. All right, so we are going to uh, start with John Roca. Tie game, but he is the higher ranked competitor. John, three numbers. Two, four, and six. Two, four, six. Sam Levine. Uh, let's go with three, eight, and twelve. Three, eight, and twelve. All right, we're going to start with, I'll start with Sam Levine here. Sam Levine is going to start to try to throw it back to John Roca. <laughs> Sam chose category number three. Sam, that is the category of comic book movies. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Just what I was hoping for. All right. Who plays Whistler in the film Blade? Uh, Chris Christopherson? Two points for Sam Levine. Whoa! That was nice. big. Now we bounce back big to whip. John Roca, who has oh, to go over God, his two a, points. That should have been a 50-point question for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. John Roca. Yeah. All right, all right. Two-point question. You chose the number two. That is the category of classics. Ooh. Hardly seems fair. Category of classics. Name the actress that starred in both Funny Girl and Funny Lady. Barbara Streisand. That's two correct. Two more points. Babs. Two-pointer. Two-pointer. All right, now we go back. Poor Sam Levine here. Pitch to number eight. Picks number eight, and he's going to think the game is rigged against him because this is animated. Animated here. Three, Take it a fair shake. The three-pointer. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sam, who provides the voice of Mater in the Cars movie franchise? Five. Four. Yeah. Owen Wilson? It's incorrect. Incorrect. Guys, I don't watch animated movies. I don't have children. <laughs> the Larry the Cable Guy is the okay. answer. All right, but we do bounce back to John Rogo. who can take the lead here with his three-pointer. All right. Uh, you chose the category of uh, number four. That is disaster movies. Disaster movies, John. Disaster question. movies. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go with your three-point question. Mm. The New Jersey Tunnel is in imminent danger as Sylvester Stallone tries to save the day in what 1996 movie? Daylight. Three points. Three points. Where are these questions for me? You didn't choose. You didn't. You didn't choose category four. God damn. All right. So Sam Levine now needs to hit his five to bounce back oh. to John Roca, the category of biopics. <laughs> biopics. All right, Sam. Here is your five pointer. Five pointer. Sir. Uh. In Ridley Scott's 1492, Conquest of Paradise, who played legendary explorer Christopher Columbus? Five. Gerard Depardieu. Five points for Sam Levine. Uh, big one. Throwing it back to Roca. Now Roca needs to hit his five-pointer to advance to the semifinals. All right, uh, you're down, John. 17, 19 shows the number six. That is the category of musicals. Oh, shit. Musicals. Five-point question Remember, it's here. A, it's the theater major we're talking about. That's here. right. Who directed 2004's The Phantom of the Opera? Is that a grown man Five. crying? No, I think he knows it. Four, three... To repeat the question. What director directed 2004's The Phantom of the Opera? Five, four, God, I really don't know this. three, two. I don't know, Rob Marshall. And your winner advancing into the semifinals.
semifinals. The Indians! Holy shit! Sam Longbeam! Sam knocks out Roka. It was Joel Schumacher who was the director. Schumacher takes out the outlaw. <laughs> Schumacher did take out the outlaw. Schumacher did take out the outlaw. Schumacher took out the outlaw. And Sam Levine continues his hot streak into the semifinals, sending yeah, the former champion uh, walking off the set now, but he shook Sam's hand. But wow, yeah. 1917, Sam Levine continuing to win. So now Sam Levine will play against Rachel Cushing. That match is going to happen. It goes down. All right, so let's go to Emma Fife, who is with both the disappointed John Roca and Sam Levine. What is up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? We are here with someone who I don't think a whole lot of you thought was going to be the victor here today, the inglorious one, Sam Levine. Thank you, Emma. Uh, this is a surprise to me as well. <laughs> um, I mean, look, uh, we this has certainly come up before uh, in post-interviews. Luck is a tremendous factor in this game. And I want to say, like, oh, I got really lucky. He hit opponent's choice, and I made him do comic book movies. The guy went no. three out of four on yeah. that. No, you hung in there, man. And, yeah. and again, I think that the opponent's choice actually sort of backfired on you. I think you'd hoped to close the gap a little bit more during I that time. I certainly and did. I think the the big uh, turning point in this match, I know it's going to be a heavy point of contention for a lot of people, is going to be the Lena Headey yeah, pronunciation. You know what? I have to admit that I learned how to pronounce her name today. Now, granted, yeah. I would have said Heady. Right. I didn't hear the Lee part. Right. So, But yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. challenge was not accepted, and I, I think that was absolutely yeah. fair. Uh, I, I agree. Letters change the pronunciation of names. I, I said to the crowd, my name is Sam Levine, not Sam Slovene. True, because there's know, no S there's on no the S first in part that. of Levine. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely, so absolutely. it can be a little tricky. You know, I think everybody really thought that Bibiani and Roca would be facing one another in the next round, but now maybe they can fight one another as fellow losers so to speak they're both winners we're all winners here it's very I mean, true the truth of the matter is for, for for one split second afterward i did tell john that i had hey look who it is it's a shit drew queen he took this is great oh. hey what's going on <laughs> what's going on buddy hey i'm sorry have we met i'm sam oh hi i've never seen you in my life are you on tv or something is that what you're trying to tell me uh I'm just I'm at the Schmodown. I yeah. just won my second singles match. Oh, singles! Yeah. I'm actually competing in the teams. I've got a big match against next week against this this team. I, people say they're really good, but oh, cool! I don't know. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, hey, good luck with that. You know, yeah. I mean, you might be able to break into show business one day dressing that sharp. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm really happy for you. You oh, beat John you. Roca. Thank you. You know, I did that too. Uh, oh, cool. You know, in, another... in teams. Yeah, that's where I'm in. I said I got a match coming up in teams. So, uh, you know, congratulations on that, buddy. But, uh, you know, all, all things considered, I, I do know who you are. I know we're playing you next week. I'm, I'm not that blind. And I've been studying, but uh, I've never come across a Sam Levine movie. Oh, that's cool. I, I literally don't know your name. <laughs> you will. Oh, okay. You will. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm going to keep this real brief for you. Yeah. All I want to know is one thing. Yeah. Where's the belts? Where's the belts? Christian so. keeps them yeah. in a closet. Yeah, exactly. I think right now, technically, they still belong to the Patriots, unfortunately. Who was that guy? Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Ben. He's part of Team Action. Oh. They're the ones that run around in the Kmart suits. I heard of them. They're the ones who got Spinner's Choice and Opponent's Choice to that's win their right. match? That's oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not As worried. a matter of fact, I'm not they did. Yeah. Anyway, yes, I mean, you and Drew have just both been on fire throughout the entire team tournament, and now we see you really crushing it here in the single. Sam Levine, I think we're going to continue to see good things from you throughout the course of the Ultimate Schmodown. Thank you very much, Emma. As long as I keep getting just a little lucky, I uh, I think I might do okay. Well, congratulations on a well-deserved win and just a little bit of luck. We will be right back with the man who didn't quite get so lucky, the outlaw, John Roca. And we are back with an understandably very disappointed John Roca. Yeah. You know, Roca, I got to say, uh, in the Ultimate Schmodown, I think you now hold the record for spinning opponent's choice the most number of times. Yeah, yeah. It was an unfortunate situation again, you know. But the thing is, I fight through them. No you do? No matter what, I do fight through them. I got three out of four, and I should I would have gotten the fourth uh, if I had remembered. Uh, like, uh, if I had remembered, uh, you know. Well, the thing is this. Her name is such an interesting name, and I guess I should have downloaded a little bit harder. I host that. I, I, I'm one of the panelists on Throne Stock. Lena Headley, Lena Headley. It's like I said it right the first time, and I doubted myself when I said it again because they asked me, "Can you repeat it?" And then I doubted myself. I should have just stayed with Hetty and, and let it be at that. So, but it's a it was a valid challenge for me mm -hmm. to make. 
and it was certainly a valid decision for the judges to make, so I have no complaints As there. I told and Sam I lost Levine, by two points. it was a learning experience for me today. Again, uh, you did. Yeah. You only lost by two points, and yeah. I think that, you know, Sam Levine got opponent's choice, tried mm -hmm. to play the comic book movies card on you, and yeah. you really did hang in there. Yeah, we did, and just like we did on the teams with the uh, top ten, we, we got, what, four or five points out of that movie release dates, which, which really we had no business getting any points out of that thing. So it is what it is. I'm really bummed. I'm incredibly sad. Uh, you know, I'm trying not to get too emotional because I love doing this. And yeah. I, the fact that I can't do this for a while now after these two losses is... is the one thing that's the most disappointing and so it's like it's it's how it goes and uh you know hopefully christian will line something up for me soon but maybe these things are blessings in disguise and you take a little bit of a break so listen john roca i think that i speak for everybody when i say that you are one of the most beloved contenders here in the schmodown yeah, so i so. i'm sure it will not be long until we get you back in there because again it came down to the last question. It yeah. was a very close match. That's all my matches, and pretty much, yeah. Exactly. Nobody can possibly doubt your movie trivia knowledge, and you were Thank against you. a very strong competitor, Sam yeah. Levine, and, and he said it himself. Ultimately, this game comes down to just a little bit of luck, yeah. and he had just a little bit more luck than you did today. Yeah, no, you know, I've been a, uh, I've been very happy to be part of this. And, you know, with all the fans out there in Outlaw Nation, all the people who tweeted me and believed me, even when we lose, they were so great at, for us after we lost to Team Action. They were great. Uh, and so, you know, I, I just appreciate all their support. And I gave what I could today. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to come over there. I mean, Joel Schumacher, give me a damn break. Who the hell? I mean, seriously, to lose on Joel Schumacher. It's just, you could have asked me who directed Xanadu. That's Gene Kelly. Ask me these random musical questions I would have known. But that film is so terrible that I just did not it, download it. You know what? Thing. It's so terrible. I don't think yeah. that you should feel badly at all about <laughs> not you, knowing Emma. an answer for such a really awful movie. And yeah. it's like three hours long it's yeah. just it's just bad yeah well i am very sorry for your loss john roca again the i believe the entirety of the movie trivia schmodown community out there believes in you you've got lots of fans behind you and i am sure that we will see you back here again very very soon Thank you. unfortunately it just won't be in the next match no, of no. the ultimate schmodown in singles all i know is that to get back on the horse i need a victory and i know that if team action loses to above the line Matt and I are ready to take those guys on again. They got lucky with opponent choice. I got lucky with spinner's choice. And we still almost beat them. And that three-point question will go down in Schmodown history as one of the most ridiculous three-point questions ever asked in the third round. That I have to agree with yeah. 100%. So if Team Action, if you lose, we want you, babies. We want you, Team Multiple Choice. We want you, Multiple Choice Militia. We want you, and we're going to take you out. That's all I got to say about that. I think that is all there is to say. Well, my condolences once again, John Roca. Now back to you, Christian and Ken. Look, I really think if you look at it, yeah. Lena he Headley. Lena Headley. Lena Heady, Headley. Heady, 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 Headley. Look, Got we're, we're going to catch it, and I'll tell you yep. what, I stand by the decision. It's you the have same to. way. The same way that Kelly McGillis is. A, it was not taken. Lena Headley and Heady. I know he knew it, but yeah. the thing is, you've got to be fair all the way around. And again, had he said Heady or Heady or, Heidi or even spelled it or certainly yeah, yeah. Headley, yeah. it's just not a And he kept saying, your name's not Christian Harmoff. Yeah, well, that's what Sam said also. So a two point steal there, um, that was really, that, that made the difference. It really did. It was controversial. It's going to be controversial, it sh but I'll tell you what, Sam Levine played a great game and I think, and Sam said it as much in the interview, the wheel is starting to become his friend because the last few, the, the team matches was nice to him. His first round was nice to him. And now Sam Levine is traveling on to the semifinals. And who, listen, there's a, there's a world where uh, it, it, Sam Levine could be playing once again against me yeah. in, in for the title here. I never played him before, as far as the championship. Goes. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I, I have to, I have to wonder what's next for John Roca. He is a talented competitor, but he's had some big losses here in the latter part of the year. So I wonder how much that's going to weigh on him. I think he's a little bummed. He looked, he, he sounded bummed. He sounded bummed in the interview. Um, you know, I, this is what I've noticed about the players that as this game is evolving. Okay, mm -hmm. you look at the the Mark Rileys and the Dan Merles and the John Roca. John Roca is is a staple of this and the let's, let's, block, yeah. let's not forget this for the for the for the times that John Roca comes out and he plays and there's the booze and this and people and the can, sheep bane yeah. all this stuff whatever it might be is that John Roca is the reason why we are one of the reasons we are here today he has helped build this league and this game and I can tell you personally mm -hmm. can 
can, it can win, it can weigh on you a little bit too. I don't think John Roca is anywhere close to retiring. I, I think that John Roca needs to step back, chill out for a little bit, take a break. He's been nonstop right. since the, the first man's match. Yeah, absolutely. He puts his heart into it, and that sometimes can take a toll, like you said. But I don't think we're done seeing John Roca. No, here. he's he's not he's not done by a long shot. But Sam Levine is definitely not done. He's continuing on. This whole tournament has just been full of surprises, and Sam Levine is another one. So, guys, thank you very much. Go ahead and comment. Give me all your Lena Headleys in the comments. I'm ready for them. It's all good. It is time for you guys to check out the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Join it today. Go to iTunes or go even to YouTube and check out the Schmodown Rundown. Every Saturday, they break down everything that happened in the week of the Schmodown. All right, so before we go, I do want to say one last thing. As you guys know or may not know, on the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page, on my Twitter page, I, I've mentioned it here on Collider, um, I have some personal stuff going on in my, on my life, good stuff, that I'm going to be taking a little break for a bit. And I have announced that I'm going to be taking a break as far as the commissioner goes. I'm going, you know, I'll be back for the spectacular, but I needed an interim commissioner, someone who knows this game in and out, someone who can stand up to the, the, the villains, if you will, someone that can, that really uh, will, will make fair matches, be um, fun and know exactly what's going on and has been there with their nose in the ground. So with that, I'm going to announce your new commissioner. Um, no, yeah, not, not you, you know. It, it's, it, no, it's who's here? It, no, it's not that can't. It's right? not, no, it's I not. got a lot of changes that I'm going to do already. Yeah, okay. it's, 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 you know it's not what you, do you right? Well, that's what that's what Cody said. No, it's uh, Co Cody. Yeah, because Cody wanted. Well, I you took to time out of my day to come here. You're, well, you don't have a day. Cody wanted to make you look. Cody. Cody wanted to make you look like a moron, and you do. This is you, ridiculous. Do you? Do you think? Even Makuga told me he congratulated when I walked oh, in the door. Makuga hates your guts. So let me tell you something. Why do you think in a million? Who wants me to be commissioner here? That's misguided. That's that mis seems like the whole crowd to me. Mis well, no. they're reacting. Look, but I'll not bring I'll bring girls on to spin the wheel for everybody. I'll no. have cheerleaders. Get, get I'll do out, real get stuff. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Well, who's going to be the commissioner? Get out. I'll show you. Jay Washington? I'll show you. Get out of here. You're going to give Jay Washington the commissioner? Get out. Uh, Rachel? I'm going to tell you what. The commissioner, that, the commissioner that I'm about to bring in is not a fan of you, is not a fan of the Lions Den, and is not going to be someone that you're going to be able to push around. That's right. Ladies and Ken gentlemen. Napsack? Ladies and gentlemen, your brand new commissioner. I want to see who this is. Fan! The Warlord! Who's this Williams! Guy? Get out of here! Get out! Yeah, Thad Williams throwing Dagnino out already. I'm liking what he's doing, Ken. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. That's, no one I mean, saw I love that, that I love the music Why choice. Have you ever told him where our offices were? I'm I have sorry. no idea. It is my right. fault. Thad, the All warlord right. himself, Williams, Thad, no one saw it coming. The warlord? Yeah, the yeah. warlord, because you got to be a warlord <laughs> here. All right, fine. No, I'm no, the, I'm no the one saw it Happy coming, man. It. So when I brought this up to you and I said, listen, I'm going to need somebody who knows this thing. You know this better than anybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in and around the post-production on this, uh, on this thing every week. So I've, uh, I, I know all the storylines. I know all the, I know all the ins and outs of the competitors. And I'm, I'm looking forward to taking over the reins and, and doing you proud for a couple weeks while you take a break. Yeah. Work on your, uh, work on your trivia for your upcoming match. Yeah. Well, you, you will be for sure. And I, that's the thing is, people are, you'll be active on the movie trivia show on Facebook group, and you'll Definitely. be, you'll be tweeting about it. Catch that. And where can I find you on Twitter? So uh, you can find me at Thad Williams. That's uh, T H A D D. Williams. There you go. So part of deep cuts, you know the game, obviously. And and if Dagnino or any of those guys gives you a hard time, you're not going to have a problem just kicking them out. No, no. Dagnino, stay, stay over there. Right. Stay over there. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to competitors only. We're going to make this work. Nope. Same, same to you, Washington. Look at that. I like it. He's same throw, to you. He's throwing it down. It keeps no. Washington and Dagnino away. Stay, stay in your corners. <laughs> stay in your little. We're going to draw out a little manager's box over there. You guys can stay over there. All right. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Look at that. We're going to make this work. I We're going to make this work. All right. So, guys, that's your new interim commissioner, Thad Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Thad Williams, while I'm gone, we'll be running the ship. Thank you, Thad. I appreciate it very much. You're in good hands, guys. Happy um, to do it. Here, and I'm Unfortunately, happy. that means I'm not running the music. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna yeah. be yeah. It's all right. But Aaron gets to fix it in post. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we go, guys. Thank you guys so all much right. once again. Congratulations to Sam Levine. Congratulations to Thad Williams there. Ken, how about it? That's good. I look forward to you coming back. Good luck on your break, man. Hope it's a quick, fast one. Thanks, guys. So the semifinals, Thad will be running all the semifinals. And when it come, when I come back, hopefully the finals will be going on. And I'm going to be watching from home to find out what the hell is going on.
What's up everyone? Frank from The Rundown, and we are off to the semifinals of the tournament. After Sam Levine, he defeats John Roca 19-17. In the first round, Levine underperformed just a bit, as he usually averages around 5 points, but he comes up with just 4 here. And now while Roca's 6 points is a fine score, it is a slight departure from the 7 points he's been putting up in his last 3 matches. In the second round, and as it often is, it was a major turning point in this match. After Levine won 3 of 4 for 6 points, Roca spun opponent's choice for the very first time in his singles career. Now Levine gave him comic book movies, and although Roca did go 3 for 4 for 5 points, he gave up a huge 2 point steal. This was the 6th time Roca has given an opponent an opportunity to steal a question, and it's the 5th time it's been a 2 point opportunity. Levine's steal was the fourth successful steal of two points by an opponent of Roca's, and it also solidified Levine's status as a top five player when it comes to steals, as he is now nine of 12 lifetime. The third round was back and forth between both of these players, and for each of them, it came down to the five pointer as most thought it would. Now, prior to this match, Levine was three for three in five pointers, and his fourth time would be no different as he answered correctly and forced it to Roca, who was coming into this match 6 of 9 on 5 pointers. Unfortunately though for Roca, it became 6 out of 10, and Sam Levine, he advances to the semi-final match against Rachel Cushing. Now let's go inside the numbers for this match. As you see, Levine, he answered 10 out of 16 correctly, was 1 for 1 in steals, which was a huge 2 point steal that really decided this match. And what's interesting when looking at Levine's past performances going all the way back to his match against Finstock is that his accuracy rate has steadily dropped from match to match, except for that slight bump he got after the Dan Merle match. But over his last five matches, including the free for all, his accuracy rate has dropped nearly 2.5%. So one has to wonder if that's a trend that will come back to bite him sooner than later. Now, as we turn our attention to John Roca and what he did in this match, he answered 12 out of 16 questions for an accuracy rate of 75%, which you can tell is a better rate than what Levine was able to do in this match. Now, it's a very rare occurrence when the loser of the match has a higher accuracy rate than the winner. That is, unless, of course, you are John Roca. And what is one of the more bizarre trends you will ever see in the Schmodown? Of Roca's now five career losses, in four of those, he has actually had the higher accuracy rate at the end of the match. The only time that didn't happen was in the triple threat when he ultimately lost to Dan Merle. But if there is anything Roka can hang his hat on, it is the fact that he is the first player to ever score 200 or more career points in the Schmodown. Which means he is still the all-time points leader with 203 points, and let's not forget about Sam Levine. He inched his way up to the 8th spot with 141 points, just a few below Jeff Snyder. Now, what will be fun going forward, because Roca is out of the tournament, will JTE, will he be able to overtake Roca and claim the number one spot for himself? He needs just 43 points to take the lead, so it's not out of the realm of possibility he could do it in the next two matches. However, if he does make it to the title match against Christian Harloff, win or lose, you have to believe that he will claim that top spot. And if that's not enough for you, and you need more stats and info on your favorite players and teams, go follow SD Rundown Stats on Twitter for more. And if you want to listen to a full breakdown and analysis of this and every other match, be sure to check out the Schmodown Rundown Podcast every week on the SK Plus YouTube channel, as well as on the Schmoes No Podcast feed on iTunes. And that's going to do it for your post-match Schmodown Breakdown. Well, well. What do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on Schmodown any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a Schmodown? Oh, I want a Schmodown right now. Oh, you want a Schmodown I, right I, I now? I want a Schmodown right now, Riley. Well, then draw. 
<laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the movie trivia schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time.